to the reaction there. Just talk us through this report, how critical it was. Well, I think what you could best describe is a pretty tense uh, statement by President Biden uh, saying, you have to respect me, my memory is fine. But this report by Special Counsel uh, Robert Hur is 345 pages long, and it is quite damning. Uh, it says the president's memory is hazy, fuzzy, faulty, poor, and has significant limitations. And they, there are plenty of examples of that in there, uh, saying uh, Biden could not recall dividing milestones in his own life. The two you just gave as an example on the death of his son, Bohm, when he was vice president. Uh, he also got confused about a 2021 meeting with the former German chancellor, Helmut Kolm, he said, who died in 2017, mistaking him with Angela Merkel. Uh, last week, he mixed up the current French president, Emmanuel Macron, with President François Mitterrand, who died in 1996. And he's since committed another gaffe while discussing the Israeli Hamas war, mistakenly referring to Egypt's leader, Abdel Fattah el Sisi, as the president of Mexico. So President Biden has bounced back to say, look, my memory is fine. And when this investigation took place, I was under extreme stress because the conflict in the Gaza Strip had just broken out last October and I was subjected to two days of grilling and I had to also at the same time manage an international crisis and that can explain also why my mind was maybe not quite so focused on what it should have been. I mean this cognitive war is really hotting up not just before President Biden but with Donald Trump as well. If memory serves me Philip it wasn't a long while ago where Nikki Haley was even suggesting about Donald Trump's memory he confused her with Nancy Pelosi. Well, of course you know you can you can say that this is manna from heaven for the Republican Party and in particular for Donald Trump who's never been one to stay away from pointing the finger and joking about Joe Biden's incapacity to remember things and getting lost when he's trying to find his way out of a meeting room and all those kind of things. So this is going to be used by the Republicans as ammunition against Joe Biden. And of course, this is right in the middle of an election year in the United States. So this is also not good news for, for Joe Biden. But the White House has published a letter this week uh, saying that Biden's inability to recall dates or details of events that happened years ago is neither surprising nor unusual. And uh, the White House says it doesn't believe that the report's treatment of President Biden's memory is accurate or appropriate. But the problem is that in the opinion polls in the US, this has gone down not very well. And even before uh, this happened this week, uh, the polls have been pointing the finger at Joe Biden saying, well, do you think he's too old to be effective for four more years? 77% say yes, they do think so. 89% uh, of Republicans and 69% of Democrats. So that is likely, as a result of these findings this week by the special counsel, to go even further upwards. That's a big battle. And the other thing that can get lost in this, Philip, is the fact that when it comes to the actual inquiry, it was looking at these secret documents that turned out to be found. They were found in the garage, weren't they, between the, the dog bed and uh, some firewood. And ultimately, what the conclusion on that was he shouldn't face trial. Well, the conclusion was that if he were to face trial, it would only be after he were no longer president of the United States, where you have an elderly man who may have memory problems, who is willing to help the inquiry and who gave the documents back to archivists as soon as they were discovered, saying that he didn't know they were there and he blamed his staff for leaving them in the garage and in his former office. This is completely opposite to Donald Trump, who's also in, under investigation for the same thing, for hiding uh, top secret documents in his home uh, in Miami. Uh, um, but Donald Trump refused to give them back and then uh, told his advisers to lie about the documents, whereas Joe Biden has been very helpful in helping the, the inquiry and giving the documents back and saying that he didn't know they were there and obviously that was a fault. So it looks pretty unlikely he will face trial for this. In fact, he won't now, but uh, it still doesn't help um, Joe Biden in the long run, I don't think. 